antidepressant, but I think I might need more help. Depression is a serious condition that affects millions of Americans. It can be devastating and debilitating, and it's important to get help. Approximately two out of three people being treated for depression still have depression symptoms. I'm on an antidepressant, but I'm still not where I want to be with my symptoms. Lots of people who suffer from depression don't get immediate relief from the first antidepressant they try. It can take a while for an antidepressant to work, and sometimes you have to try a different dose or a different drug to find the one that's right for you. If your antidepressant alone isn't enough, talk to your doctor. One option your doctor may consider is adding Abilify. You hear the words depression and antidepressant several times in this commercial, which might lead you to believe that Abilify is an antidepressant. It's not. It's an antipsychotic, a much more serious class of drug. Originally, it was approved as a treatment for schizophrenia, and soon after that for bipolar disorder. It's been shown to be effective at treating both. Abilify is FDA approved to treat depression in adults when added to an antidepressant. The makers of Abilify spent more than $150 million advertising it to the public in 2008, and the investment paid off. Sales rose 33% to roughly $2.4 billion. At least one other antipsychotic in the same class is seeking approval as an add-on treatment for depression, perhaps hoping to move in on some of Abilify's market share. Learn more about Abilify. Brace yourself. Here come the side effects. Call your doctor if your depression worsens or you have unusual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Elderly dementia patients taking Abilify have an increased risk of death or stroke. While viewers may have become numb to the litany of side effects reeled off in drug ads, it's important to keep listening. Call your doctor if you have high fever, stiff muscles, and confusion on Abilify, as these may be signs of a life-threatening reaction, or uncontrollable muscle movements, as these could become permanent. High blood sugar has been reported with Abilify in medicines like it. In some cases, extreme high blood sugar can lead to coma or death. Translation, you could wind up in a diabetic coma with poor chances of recovery. It's a very rare scenario, fortunately, but a serious one. Other risks include dizziness upon standing, seizures, impaired judgment or motor skills, or trouble swallowing. To sum it up, with side effects like these, Abilify is not a drug to ask for just because you saw it in a commercial. Not to mention that Abilify can cost up to $450 a month, so you want to make sure that's money well spent. Adding Abilify has made a difference for me. And apparently in the weather as well. It's a lot brighter than it was at the beginning of this commercial. If an antidepressant alone isn't enough, talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits of adding Abilify. Abilify has probably made a difference for a lot of people, people who needed help that they weren't getting from an antidepressant alone. But our medical advisors suggest exhausting other drug treatments for depression before considering Abilify. I'm Jamie Hirsch, and this is Consumer Reports AdWatch. This video was sponsored by no one.